Okay, finally picked up my computer. Seems to be working fine. There's about a couple of dozen uh, Wi-Fi networks in this little street, and they they're showing up. So it's looking pretty good compared to what it was. It wasn't even detecting a lot of the uh, Wi-Fi's around, and they were very intermittent. The it took a long time to boot up the computer though. So I hope that's not something that's going to continue on. And I think they put an antivirus in there because there's, there's a message that's come up that wasn't there before. Now that might slow down the system a little. Hopefully not too bad, but uh, we'll see. So, let's just go down. I think I took the same route back last time. And you've got that great view of the Bitesco Tower up the road there. So I'm pretty sure I took exactly the same road last time. Yeah, anyway, that uh, that was fairly smooth going. It didn't take long. To, he just turned the computer on for me, made sure, showed me that the networks were up and running. And they didn't obviously didn't have to reboot my computer and I lose all my data. That would have, ugh. I mean, good good to clean out your system, but gee. So uh, it's pretty good. It's about as good as I can hope for. And yeah, the guys are pretty professional, though. So things. So uh, they, they they came through with the time frame, and I think the rate repair cost was six hundred eighty thousand dong, which is slightly over forty dollars Australian. It's okay. Uh, it's if they'd had a direct cable at the hotel, I wouldn't have had to do it at all. It's just annoying, but. They used to do that more than they do these days. Most people just use Wi-Fi. So if, you, if your Wi-Fi stuffs up on you, you've got to get it repaired. So it's good for these guys. It creates a bit of industry. And it's just annoying. It was just a cable that was the issue. It's a bit stiff, I reckon. But slack manufacturing by uh, Acer. Apparently Acer, I was talking to a Taiwanese guy last night at the uh, number five bar, and he said they're, they're but they, they manufacture in Taiwan and Hong Kong apparently. so I don't know chances are I think most of them would come out of Taiwan but I don't know anyway he's, he, was, he was a devotee this guy was a devotee of number 5 bar and I played a couple of games of pool with a really good I think he's an English guy and a really good player and I was amazed that I only lost by one ball because I seem to do that all the time it must be a psychological because I actually played much better than I previously had and I wonder if it's a psychology, if you, if you know you're playing someone that shit hot, you have to raise your own game. I, I don't know. And I wasn't super pissed, I was just probably midway through my happy hour. So, yeah, I, I was amazed because he actually wiped the floor with other players and played with a bar girl and she was bloody good from some other bar, I think. I assume she was a bar girl. She's Vietnamese anyway. It was, it was much more sensible. I don't have a hangover like I had the previous time I got on that drinking. Stick to two pubs maximum, I reckon. And don't have too late at night. That's probably the best. I knew I had to pick up the computer, so I couldn't really have too much. But I was a bit sorry worried this morning. I was a bit dry in the mouth when I woke up. But, uh, yeah, I'm surviving. I'm okay. Anyway, it'd be good to get the computer back because I really want to get stuck eating some... Uh, some of these videos edited oh, that would be good and I also miss the fact I can't if for some reason I can't put comments or, or view the comments on um, on the tablet something about Android that, uh, and, and apparently something to do with permissions with YouTube but they know, they know who I am I'm the same user there that I am on the PC so, so I'm not quite sure why I can't post comments or look at the comments on videos and it's one of the most important parts of the exercise because you want that interactivity it's all about you know social media is all about otherwise you might as well be reading a newspaper because you just can't react to, to the stories you're watching so yeah, a few trees down there would be better but uh, crazy here as you can tell and hear and see it's a busy day Thursday. Yeah, very busy. 
early in the week it's a bit quieter. Well, it was Monday when I first came down here and this is decidedly busier. Slightly early in the morning. But yeah, it's full on market day. It could be like the worst at the, the end of the week is when the markets really kick in. But I'll, uh, I'll see if I can see a con convenience store, I'll grab myself some mineral water. Okay, I'll sign off now, I think. I'm going to do my diversion, my long protracted diversion down the end of the street as the barrier comes up with the highway. And hopefully across the highway in one piece and and about 20 minutes or so I'll be back uh, to the hotel, hopefully, in one piece. Oh, I need to get out. Uh, I'm feeling... I've got a bit of a cold still, a bit of a cough. It's been annoying. I've had two nights in a row now. And it's, uh, it's definitely interrupted my sleep. So, uh, but I'm feeling better than I did yesterday. I was really hungover. Uh, it's a hell of a lot better. And, uh, I'm just going to try to find some... Uh, some shorts up uh, up the road here. I haven't been up here before for a, for a while now. Taking a different route, but uh, this Ving, the Vincon Centre has got a few places inside. Uh, it's not the cheapest place on earth, but I find some good quality shorts where they've got um, decent fabric and thick fabric. It's probably worth paying up to thirty bucks or something like that. Because uh, I just need to get some new clothes. And, uh, and I just wanted to get out of the, out of the hotel because I spent so much time there yesterday, it was terrible. But uh, I had a combination of hangover with the cold and yeah, I was in, not, in a great, not in great shape. And it's down the road, it's quite nice down near the river, except when I went on that walk down to the, to the computer repair place. It was crappy, really bad streetscape. So this is sort of looks like more of a business area just here, but once you get up the top here, and then get down the main drag and get to Vincon. But yeah, it's pretty quiet here, probably busier on the week then. But uh, it's just good to get out. And uh, actually, I had another bow, uh, far bow today, and even though they're good, I'm getting a little sick of it. I'm going to try some different type of cuisine. I still like my bang knees in the morning, but uh, I just want something else. To to eat a bit more variety. I'm uh, being too uh, conservative wherever I get out and about. So that's part of this process. I might, I'll probably go back to number five again today, do the happy hour, but won't go to any other pubs. That's the killer. I've got to be very disciplined on that because I just can't handle that much booze. It's ridiculous. And just wipes you out for the next day. That's not good. So there's the, the big Tetsco Tower, so I'll get the right in the centre of things again now, down here. Uh, there's a lot of food outlets here. Saigon's first of all, the food. It's a bar. There's got food as well. Oh, on the corner, the street corner, I didn't know it was there before. But I uh, don't normally hang around this area. It's good to explore. I just realised Bits Tesco Tower has this little section jutting right out. I never noticed that before. So it shows how unobservant I am. But yeah, this, it's a very unique design. I sort of don't mind it too much. Actually, you probably should have gone that way. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I'll get down to where I've got to go. I'll cut down past Bits Tesco. I think place is still going. Go for years. It's not the cheapest place, it's more a touristy uh, business place type place. Not super upmarket, it's a little more expensive than your standard little place. There seems to be a lot of construction work happening just here. This is a little section that's usually open up to the public uh, instead of on the weekends to have fun, but it looks like there might be some festival. Whether that's as they're just demolishing pet stuff, or they're actually building for something else, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, there seems to be quite a bit of work happening there. But I imagine they would have had Tet set the celebrations along here. Made sense. So, uh, gee, you can't even cut across. A big archway there. 
I assume they're just, they're just taking their time to dismantle the stuff, right? I don't know. Okay. Just guessing. Yeah, this could all be post tet. That sort of looks like the correct thing. Oh, wow. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, it's a bit more open there. Still some. Oh, we've got uh, barriers there. Oh, I don't know. As I say, I'll know in a week or so's time there'll be more progress with the building if they are building something. Yeah, I would have thought the test stuff would have been demolished by now, but who knows. Please uh, consider subscribing to my channel if you think there's anything there of, uh, of use to you or entertainment or whatever. And uh, either give, do that or give me a thumbs up or, or if you're feeling really energetic, do both. That'd be great. Uh, but uh, please don't ignore me. That's the worst thing you can do on YouTube is be ignored.